Hi, this is Sylvia Saber with OPTV Global Headlines. Starting with the top international stories for the day. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said the United States is deeply troubled by Israeli police's attack on the funeral of slain Palestinian-American reporter Shireen Abdul Akhle in occupied East Jerusalem. U.S. called to avoid actions that could further escalate tensions. Europe pledged another half billion dollars in military support for Ukraine. Meanwhile, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin urged an immediate ceasefire in Ukraine during talks with Russian Defense Minister. Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has stressed that Ankara cannot accept the U.S. decision to lift sanctions in Syria's YPG PKK health regions. At least 27 people died and dozens more were injured in a massive fire in a building in the Indian capital, New Delhi. The cause of fire is not immediately clear. United Arab Emirates President Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan has died at the age of 73. Vice President Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum would act as president until the Federal Council elects a new president. The Taliban government has dismissed reports of banning men and women from dining out together. The Ministry of Promotion of Virtues said these are part of baseless propaganda. Up next, we have the national updates. Pakistan expressed its deep grief over the passing away of UAE President Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan. Pakistan announced three days national mourning over demise of UAE President. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has left for Dubai to offer condolences on the demise of UAE President. The Premier will offer his condolence to the Crown Prince of UAE. President Dr. Arif Alvi has approved the reconstitution of the Council of Common Interests on Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif's advice. The Prime Minister will head the CCI. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan has hinted at revealing the names of all individuals who were involved in the conspiracy to topple his government. Khan said he has been contacted for settling the issues but will not talk to anyone until the general elections. Punjab police have arrested Pakistan Tehreek and Saf leader Usman Dar and other party workers ahead of a rally in the area. Police claimed that the district administration had not allowed the party to hold a public meeting at CTI ground. In major political development, four dissident leaders of Pak Sarzameen party have rejoined MQM Pakistan. Dr. Sagir Ahmad, Vaseem Aftab, Salim Tajik and Taha Ahmad Khan have decided to rejoin MQM Pakistan. The first information report of Karachi's Sadar bomb blast has been registered at Counterterrorism Department. One person had lost his life and eight got injured in the powerful bomb blast. Water shortage in Pakistan has become worse than projected. Country is facing an acute water shortage of 38% for irrigation purposes. We have expanded our clinics from one small clinic to seven community clinics across the greater Houston and Port Arthur areas. My name is Dr. Spencer Wood and our goal is to provide high quality, uh, affordable care for the community. Ibn Sina, primary care doctors, ke alawa, uh, there are many specialists bhi available hai, jaise ke cardiology, dermatology, psychiatry, podiatry, neurology, nephrology and other specialists who can take care of your health. We are providing uh, services like preventive care, including exams and dental cleanings. Counseling and psychotherapy, if medically medicine taken pro properly, can give a good life. The Ibn Sina ki services, jo medical services se shiru hai thi, wo expand hui medical, dental, diagnostic, specialty care, and mental health services. Hamne especially mental health services since last one year se expand ki hai. Kaba Fusion is a pharmacist-owned, patient-focused team of professionals with over 30 years' experience providing intravenous medication to pediatric and adult patients in the comfort and safety of their own home. 
Founded by Dr. Sohail Masood, a pioneer in the home infusion industry and recipient of Ernst & Young's Entrepreneur of the Year Award, Kaba Fusion has 28 state-of-the-art compounding pharmacies across the country with service capabilities nationwide. Specializing in IVIG, SCIG, and acute therapies, our highly skilled infusion nurses are present throughout your treatment and our clinicians are on call 24 hours a day. Please visit us at kabafusion.com for more information. Up next we have the health updates. U.S. President Joe Biden has announced to share COVID-19 vaccines making technologies through the World Health Organization. Biden called on Congress to provide additional funds so that the U.S. may contribute more to the global pandemic response. Up next, we have the updates on science and technology. Scientists for the first time have grown seeds in soil from the moon. Samples retrieved during NASA missions in 1969 and 1972. The groundbreaking experiment has given hope that it may be possible to one day grow plants directly on the moon. Up next, we have the sports updates. Pakistan will host richest ever Asian Tour golf event, carrying a whooping price purse of 500,000 US dollars. The tour has included the CNS Pakistan Open and the event will take place from December 1st to 4th. British Pakistani boxer Amir Khan has announced his retirement from boxing with immediate effect. Amir has competed in 40 fights throughout his professional career, winning 34 out of them. Up next, we have the entertainment updates. Supermodel Bella Hadid condemned the Israeli forces for attacking Palestinian journalist Shireen Abu Akhle's funeral. She also criticized the US and Israeli media for its coverage of Akhle's murder at the hands of Israeli forces. Bollywood's Deepika Padukone has become the first Indian to be the face of French luxury brand Louis Vuitton. The title of house ambassador is also held by Hollywood's Emma Stone and China's Zhao Dongyu. Young social activist Iman Danish has designed the first ever eco-friendly doll of Pakistan. Iman made a plastic-free doll and designed it using cotton and fabric. She named it Fiza. Up next, we have the business updates. Pakistan's large-scale manufacturing has broke all records in March 2022. The output of large-scale manufacturing industries increased by 26.6% year-on-year in March 2022. The Oil and Gas Regulatory Authority of Pakistan has increased the price of liquefied natural gas for the month of May. The price of LNG has been increased to $21.83 per MMBTU. expanded our clinics from one small clinic to seven community clinics across the greater Houston and Port Arthur areas. My name is Dr. Spencer Wood and our goal is to provide high quality, uh, affordable care for the community. In the name of primary care doctors, there are many specialists available, like cardiology, dermatology, psychiatry, podiatry, neurology, nephrology, and other specialists are available. We are providing uh, services like preventive care, including exams and dental cleanings. Counseling and psychotherapy. If medically medicine taken pro properly can give a good life. The Ibn Sina ki services, jo medical services se shiru hai thi, wo expand hui medical, dental, diagnostic, specialty care and mental health services. Humne especially mental health services since last one year se expand ki hai.
Kappa Fusion is a pharmacist-owned, patient-focused team of professionals with over 30 years' experience providing intravenous medication to pediatric and adult patients in the comfort and safety of their own home. Founded by Dr. Sohail Masood, a pioneer in the home infusion industry and recipient of Ernst & Young's Entrepreneur of the Year Award, Kaba Fusion has 28 state-of-the-art compounding pharmacies across the country with service capabilities nationwide. Specializing in IVIG, SCIG, and acute therapies, our highly skilled infusion nurses are present throughout your treatment and our clinicians are on call 24 hours a day. Please visit us at kabafusion.com for more information.